Hey everybody. All right, so let's back up some files to an iPhone, Android. Doesn't really matter what device it is. I use iOS stuff mainly, so you can put it on a MacBook, an iPad, your iPhone. If you use Android, you obviously can use your phone or your Galaxy tablet or whatever it is they have. And on Windows devices, laptops, desktops, um, even a Chromebook if you've got one of those. You know what your file system looks like. You should hopefully know how to put files together. This is like on a Mac, you know, this is what your files look like. Um, or on like a Chromebook, this is what the files look like. And um, on an iPhone, if you're familiar with it, or any phone really, you generally have a file folder, like right there at the top left there. And um, these are your files. And if you don't have a folder for it, then just, you know, usually you hold down or do something and put new folder and then just name it. So we'll name this one name. And I already got one named Tascam here, so I'll go ahead and just go into that folder, and you'll see that I put folders for each song. And I'm going to deal with this song called Claptrap. And I'll go in there, and you'll see that what I've done is I've created folders for Wave and folders for Backup. And those are going to correspond to what's on the Tascam that will be taking the folders out so we can basically archive them in here. So let's go over to the Tascam. Okay, so let's deal with a single song here. So where are we at? Let's go in the menu. Let's go to song, load, and the song that's loaded is Claptrap. It's a song I've been working on. All right, so let's go back home. We know that that's the loaded song, okay? So now, what would we like to put into file folders to export off to keep safe someplace? Well, we might want to start with just the tracks. So let's go down to import export export track it says track but you can do tracks all right so let's say we want to back up all the tracks so these are all the tracks that are in claptrap the song okay um, there's eight tracks uh, the first two are drums then there's bass uh, then there's a guitar and then some hand claps and a vibra slap now i would if i was gonna hand these off to somebody or you know keep them for very long-term storage or maybe you're changing your format on how you set up your mixer, you know, where you put stuff, then I'd name each one of them. You can do that. You can go into name, and then you can just change the names on each one of them. So if you went in name, you could just use the jog shuttle wheel and the fast forward button and go through here and name them drum or whatever. But I won't do that right now. But And then in order to save each one of them, so you just pick them all. So you'd pick one, two, three, four, five, Oops, <laughs> six, seven, and eight. And then go to next, and then it'll tell you how much space you got on your card and all that, and what, what you're doing. You're going to take up 22 megabytes to do this. So you just go ahead and hit execute. So now what it'll do is it'll write all those raw tracks into the wave folder on the task cam. And then if you, and then if you recall, we set up wave folder on the phone or the computer or whatever and we'll take these files and pu put them into that folder on the computer and save them to bring back potentially into here or to hand them off to somebody else you might give them to someone who's using a DAW or you might give them to someone else who has a task cam or whatever it is and you can see it's it just exported each one of them all right so that'll go in the wave folder now the next thing we're already here and we're already in the same song claptrap we go down to export master. Now, if you've made a master of the song, then there's going to be one there. And you you will want to name this because it's also going to go into the wave folder. Now, it will say mix instead of track, so you'll know. But it would be best to go ahead and name this song. So we'll go ahead and, you know, name it, you know, Claptrap or I'll Come Close. Just enough so that we know that I don't have to make it sit here. Let's just go CLA and we'll know. And back up. All right. That's good enough. All right. So we'll just call it that. And eh, we'll just go ahead and put clap. What the heck? All right. And then we'll execute. And what that'll do is it'll export that master into the wave file. All right. And um, then you can just take that and do whatever you want with it. Put it out on, um, you know, Spotify or whatever it is these days, you know, any place you want or play it in your car or give it to your friends. Whatever you do with your music, um, or just enjoy it and listen to it. Sometimes I just listen to my own songs. Hey, if I didn't like them, why would I be making them, right? All right, so get out of here, and we'll talk about the third possible option that you might want to do, and that would be to back up the entire song in the sense that 
you're taking the file structure that the task cam builds when you make a song and you're backing it up so that you can put it back on the machine or on another task cam and it'll put it back together in the same old same whole hierarchy it'll put the drums where they were and the bass and everything it'll put it all back together the way you structured it which is really cool if you've got a song and um you're not ready to really go all in and mix and master it and take it off you're like i want to learn a little bit more but i've got good tracks here i did them at a friend's house or i just want to keep them and work them later or whatever um but I don't want to just take the raw tracks off. I want it all set up and just stick it right back on the machine. It's a very cool way to do it quickly. So you have to go through all that, you know, saving everything. So I'll show you what I mean. All right, so this is data backup, okay? Now we're on the same song clap track. When we go into data backup, we say song backup, all right? And then we'll go to clap trap. We'll say we want to back up clap trap. It's already named. Next. And you can name it here. So, and I would do that again because you wanna, you wanna, you know, know which song it is because you might you might back up a whole bunch of songs. So we'll just go to the same thing. And uh, I can spell, <laughs> and that's it. And then execute. And then it, it, now what it's doing is it's storing the entire song the way it's set up on the task cam, which is cool. All the little executions that you did, um, the way you lined them up. That's not going to do your balances and pans and all that kind of stuff because that's not going to print anyways until you mix down and master it. But it's just cool to be able to just stick it right back in the machine and be where you were when you left off without having to export individual tracks back to number one, number two, number three, and all that. So it's a pretty cool way to do it. So, all right, we'll head back to um, whatever device we're going to, and we'll take these files off the task cam while this thing's writing this because you don't have to wait for that. <laughs> I'll see you guys over there. Real quick, in order to do this, you have to have, like, for instance, for an Apple device, you got to have this Apple Lightning to USB. Get the Apple one. I've had the generic ones, and they don't work very well. I've had them break down and had to send them back. And um, I've had these for Android stuff. I've had no problem with them. Um, your mileage may vary. Anytime you have a problem, I'll leave links in Amazon. If you got a problem, they'll take it back. All right, so I've used a little camera adapter, and I've hooked up to my phone. You're, you either took the card out or you hooked up the USB cable to the task cam, however you did it, and you go in your files and then find the, the DP0080X. It's right there, and we'll go into it, and then... There's the folders I was saying would be there, the WAV file folder. And there's all those tracks, including the one I started naming drum. And then there's the mastered, the fully mastered song. You can take that and put it wherever you want. I probably wouldn't put it in the same folder with all these because you're probably not going to want to put that mastered song back on the task cam, but you might. But you're really going to want these tracks to start remixing your song. So that can just go anywhere, wherever you put your music. Uh, it's done. And then... uh in the backup, there's that song that's backed up. The one I said is all structured the way you had it last time, and you'll be able to put it back on the, the task cam. So you, so you would, let's just go ahead and grab this one right now since we're here. Copy that. And then go on your phone. Go to your task cam folder. That song is Claptrap. And this is backup because that's that song. So now I'll just hold here and paste and it'll copy it over. Okay, so now that's backed up. I can put it on a cloud. I can, you know, just keep it on my phone, put it on an SSD or whatever, which I would probably do. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab the other stuff. Let's get the stuff that's in the WAV folder. And on, a, on an iPhone, you just do it the way you do it. Select all, and then come down here, copy those nine items, head back into your phone, task cam, clap, trap, flapjack and then just well, I can just hold down and paste all right so now I've backed up all those files I've backed up the individual tracks I've backed up the entire song if I want to just put it back on and um, I put these away for when I'm ready for them all right so it's the future <laughs> and and you want to revisit that that song so what we'll do is we'll do the opposite of what we just did go into files and we find our task cam card and we see that the wave folder is empty and the backup file folder is empty and that's fine because on our trusty iphone or whatever device we have 
we have the Tascam files, and we've got that song, Claptrap, famous song. All right, so we'll start off in the Wave folder just for fun, and there's those eight tracks that we had, that wonderful drum track. And uh, you can uh, take them all, you can take parts of them, you take whichever ones you want, and if you named them, you'll know which ones they are. All right, so we'll select them all, copy these eight items, back up to the Tascam card, DP008EX, go in the wave folder and just go ahead and hold down and paste. This is just how you do it on an iPhone. You know how to move files on your on your machine, hopefully. And um, it'll copy them over to that that card for the task cam. Um, ultimately, taking it a minute. I'll edit this if I have to. <laughs> there we go. Takes a second. It's a lot of folders. It's a lot of files. You know, this is like each one of these is a song. Well, it's a short song, um, three megabytes. All right, so there they are. All right, and then we'll go back into our phone, back into Tascam, back into Claptrap, and then back up. And this is where the song is. This is the whole song. Uh, this is my preferred way of doing this. And then hold down on it, copy it, back into the DP008EX and go in backup, remember, and then hold down and paste. And now it's writing that over. And now you just take this and either just uh, disconnect the machine if you've plugged directly into your phone from the machine or take the card and uh, put the card back in the task cam and then you can restore your song um, days, weeks, months, hours, seconds, years later and um, rework it. So it's a good way to archive your stuff. So let's go ahead and put it back in the machine and that'll finish this one up. All right, so here we are back in the task cam. You've either just unplugged it or you put the card back in and um, it's a different card, but now it's got those files loaded into those folders from what you had archived. Okay, so I'll do the, the quick and easy way. First of all, um, it doesn't really matter what's loaded. You've got a songs here and you've got a song loaded and it's called Dust. Um, you don't need to worry about that at this point. All you need to do is go in the menu and go into data backup. All right, so now song restore. And there's your song that you just put in here from on your phone or wherever your, your laptop or whatever. Claptrap. All right, so we just hit execute. And this is the beauty of this because it's putting the song and it asks, you want to call Claptrap? Yeah. And then it, it's this is going to take a second, but I will tell you, um, there were things that I did to this song, like I put um, reverb on it, and um, I did um, EQing, and I did panning. It's going to keep a while. The panning and that, that you could change that, but all the EQing and everything is still on it. Now, you can undo all that very easily, um, but... You know, and, the, and and when you're just working on a song, panning and reverb don't really matter until you do mix down. So you may change all that, and that might be the reason why you back this up, because you're going to do it differently later. But when it puts this song back on here, you'll see in a second, it's done everything. It's um, put it back the way it is. Okay, so now we automatically come back to, watch this, we'll go up to load, and song, load. And you'll see, dust isn't isn't highlighted anymore. Claptrap is. It suddenly magically appeared. So we go home, and then even the fact I did in I did in and out points, and if I hit repeat, I hope this isn't too loud. Starts at the in and out points, and like I said, everything's there. You know, like see, I had, I had EQ channels and stuff. I did things to it, so. That's a really, shut up, that's a really neat way to um, to back up stuff and put it back on the machine. Now, there is the other option. You could you could create a blank song, and then um, you could go into menu, and, um, oops, menu, and you could go to import, export, and you could import tracks. And then, now you watch, there's those tracks. Okay, so we've got our, we've got our eight tracks. I took that... Uh, I took that mastered song out of there before I put it back on here, obviously. So, and you can just start doing that. So, you know, if you know which one's one, that's why I said to name them. See, I only named the one, remember, drum. And so I'd put drum and it would say track full. Um, yeah, I'm messing with a different song. Like I said, make a blank song and put them in there. You don't want to 
cover up a track on an existing song. So anyways, the stuff's there. And uh, that's how you do um, backups and then restores to the task camp. And um, I, I prefer the song way, but, you know, sometimes you are going to just back up tracks because you want to uh, you want to just take, you know, one or two of them or parts of them. But, you know, if you're if you're working on a song, it's a great way to do it. All right, guys. See you next time.